Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. It's actually super hard. Take me <laughs> the changing temperatures, short days, and wishy-washy weather can definitely affect our moods. The sun sets so early and the habits that we've already formed just seem harder and harder to get done. These few days, I've just been focusing on being kind to myself. I read a comment the other day that inspired me. When feeling down, I like to pretend I'm a friend of mine that's having a bad day. Would you judge or scold them for not doing enough? Would you insult them or put them down for not being as productive as you'd like them to be? No. Look in the mirror with absolutely no guilt or shame and acknowledge that you've done all you can physically and mentally today. Take a look at your past accomplishments and imagine as if they were someone else's. I think we often minimize our own successes and give more credit and appreciation to others. Look at yourself from an outside perspective and show yourself the same amount of admiration. You're not against yourself. Remember, you're on the same team. If we always tell ourselves we're not enough, then we're going to believe that we're inherently just a lazy and unmotivated person. That that's just who we are and we can't change it. But instead, we can look at ourselves differently. We are hardworking, we are disciplined, we are intelligent, but right now, we're just going over a little blockade. Now, instead of forcing someone that's lazy to work hard, we're figuring out the solutions to the blockade so we, someone who is hardworking and has potential, can perform at our best. You are good. Lately, some of the things that I've been doing is learning how to take care of myself in different ways, such as doing stress relieving activities that might also be beneficial to my mental state. I've been finding cooking healthy-ish meals comforting and playing soccer with my friends. I've been learning to take things slowly, enjoy the present moment, and take Take in everything as it is. Life doesn't have to be in such a rush. Good morning! You know, after I paint my nails, I immediately fell asleep. They look bad from up close, but you know, if you look at it from afar, it's not that bad. Negative self-talk is so hard to get over, especially when it's something that you might have not even knowingly done your whole life. I know it's still hard for me. Comments like, I look ugly today, or what I just said was so stupid. The first step is recognizing that it's happening instead of simply believing what you say. Then truly think to yourself and provide a counter argument for it. Okay, so for today's so breakfast, I want to try scrambling some eggs with some mushrooms and spinach and uh, have some like baguette or whatever, see if it tastes good. For example, I'm so lazy. I think to myself, well honestly, that's an over-exaggeration. Look at all the things you've accomplished. Would a lazy person be able to do that? What even is laziness anyway? It doesn't even exist. Without sounding vain or shallow, try building confidence in ways that are tangible in real life. For example, I used to often tell myself that I was a terrible cook, but honestly, just learning more and more, I can make a really delicious dish or two now. Or for example, working on my appearance and looking in the mirror and actually saying and believing, wow, I look good today. So come on baby hold me Let me be the one I try to be the I'm pretty sure I did this wrong. I think I was supposed to cook the mushroom and the spinach first and then put the egg. Okay, let's try again. Say what's on my mind is baby any Oh. 
Not double, but triple layering today. And look at that, the sun's already setting up. Great, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I'm gonna over <laughs> taking my sweat off. Okay, we're back from then. I don't think it was as cold as I thought it was gonna be. I feel like that happens every single time. With running outside in the winter, it's just that first push to get outside and then afterwards you warm up as you go. Skincare time and let's have a little heart to heart conversation. So I really can't believe that it's December already. I feel like this year has passed so quickly and i've been working on this video that kind of summarizes everything that i've learned this year because i remember at the same time last year i was in a really bad state of mind and i committed myself this whole year to just trying to improve a little bit every single day and i feel like i've learned a lot of lessons throughout the day i mean throughout the year like I want to be the best video that I put out on my channel this year. I'm so excited for 2023. I'm also really nervous because I feel like I'm kind of at a weird stage of my life right now where it could go in like so many directions. I think there's a lot of uncertainty with my future. Right now it's like not a very concrete cut path and it's really scary but i'm also really excited for all the different opportunities maybe some of you guys have been feeling uncertain about the future too i know maybe you guys are going to go to university soon or go to higher education and you're not sure where you're going to go what you want to do maybe all your life you thought that you wanted to do that one certain career path but then you started having changes and doubts in your mind which is so totally normal <sighs> take a breather it'll all work out in the end i believe it will okay skincare routine done But before I end today's video, I want to talk about Squarespace. We love Squarespace, guys. <laughs> so Squarespace is a beautiful, powerful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience, generate revenue through gated members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights in one easy-to-use platform. You can create a community on Squarespace which supports a fully integrated commenting system that supports likes, replies, and threaded comments, as well as use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. You can extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, streamline bookkeeping, promote products, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items all across the globe. As well, you can display posts from your social media onto your website and automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share and enjoy them too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Rebecca J to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace. I'll see you guys next video. And I know cause you're an awful lot like me So baby don't be unforgiving